Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to TOS Tuesday. Today I want to give you 10 tips that you can do at home, at work, wherever you are and just uh, help you feel a lot better. Okay, tip number one is posture. Keeping your stomach in, chest out, Squeeze your shoulder blades together and make sure that you are parallel with your head to the floor. So when you're walking, everything is straight. Lift your head up high and you will, that neutral posture will keep your back feeling good and take the pressure off your shoulder. Number two, you want to open up the pec minor. The pec minor is one of those muscles that really pull everything forward and down. And it gives you that shooting pain in your chest right through to your back sometimes. So what you want to do, find a wall or a door, whatever you can lean on. Rotate your thumb outward, externally rotate. Grab the back of the wall, take a step forward, create that stretch in your chest. And if it doesn't feel like it's stretching enough, you can turn your head to the opposing side and just get that nice stretch and you will feel blood flow will get into that area and it will start loosening up the pec minor. Tip number three is opening up your chest and getting your shoulder blades back. So find yourself a door frame Put your arms at 90 degrees to the door frame and take a step forward and try stretch and keep your shoulder blades as close together as possible keep your neck straight and your head straight looking forward and you're going to feel that nice squeeze opening up your chest getting your shoulders back and creating more space in the brachial plexus tip number four find yourself a wall and stand against it so what you want to do is squeeze your shoulder blades together Rest your shoulder blades right against the wall, put your head straight back and this will just keep your spine straight, it will train your body, get that muscle memory to keep your body in that neutral position with your shoulders and head back and that will also take pressure off your thoracic area. Okay, tip number five, because we're sitting down most of the time driving at the office at a desk, our spine is always in one position. So what you want to do is stand up from your desk and do a spine twist. So you can either just use your upper body, twisting left to right, as far as you can go. If you need an extra stretch, kick the opposite way. So if you're stretching this way, kick opposingly. And that's just gonna give you that nice stretch. Your back might click, but you're gonna feel blood flowing and you're gonna feel a whole lot better. Tip number six is just squeezing your shoulder blades together. So stand up. You can even sit down at a desk, but it works better if you're standing, so you can get nice deep breaths. Rotate your arms outward, externally rotate your shoulders and squeeze your shoulder blades almost so they're touching and hold it there for a few seconds and relax. Now you can do this a few times a day, this trains your muscles to stay in that neutral position. Tip number seven. Now what you want to do, stand up and shake your arms, let your arms hang to your side and see the position of your thumbs. Now if you have extremely in inwardly rotated shoulders Every, most people that have that their thumbs rotate inwards and their palms face backwards so see where your thumbs face the further out they face the better your posture is a neutral posture is having your palms outward easily a lot of people with inwardly rotated shoulders cannot open up their thumbs and externally rotate very easily so practice that external rotation look in the mirror shake it up in the morning see where your thumbs are pointing and the better you get, the further out your thumbs will point more easily. Number eight, the serratus anterior is one of those muscles that hold the shoulder blade in an incorrect position. So if you can, most people cannot lift their arm up if they've got thoracic outlet syndrome. If you can, try see if you can lift your arm up and stretch over. If you can stretch over, this is going to stretch the serratus anterior and get that lat stretching and it's going to help with your movement your flexion and rotating your arms and the shoulder movement so if you can if you're in too much pain and this causes discomfort or your hand changes color don't attempt this but uh, in a controlled environment you can see how badly your serratus anterior is limiting you and these last two tips are probably the most important for your daily lives number nine is going to help you with anxiety it's going to help calm your body get deeper breaths 
and train your body to breathe in a proper position. I've done a few videos of this before and that is diaphragmic breathing. Now to do diaphragmic breathing, place one hand on your chest, one hand on your stomach and you want this bottom hand on your stomach to rise and fall. So you can lay down on the floor to get that, that feeling better because if you're not used to it, you're gonna struggle. So you don't want your chest to be moving up and down, you want your stomach to move up and down. So it should look like You want that moving. So it's a struggle in the beginning, but the more you practice it, the more you're gonna take the strain off your scalene muscles, which take over for respiration, and you're gonna use your diaphragm, which is meant for the main respiratory function. Okay, last tip, tip number 10. Most of us are sitting at a desk for hours at a time, and our screens are far away from us, our, our keyboard and mouse are far away, and our arms are outstretched. Now, take everything away and you're basically sitting like this the entire day stretched out. So to get the optimal function and not get a flare up, move your chair in, get close to the desk, make your feet 90 degrees, the angle of your knees, bring your keyboard and your mouse closer and the perfect position is 90 degrees, having your elbows to your sides and working straight from there. So you want everything right here back against the back of the chair and your head in a neutral position so you might need to raise your screen up just so that you're not looking down the whole day either 90 degrees elbows in and you can work from here and this is going to minimize flare ups and it's going to help you through the day sitting at a desk so those are the 10 tips hope it helps you and i'll see you guys soon